And the Lord said unto him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seen, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go. Stop belittling yourself. Do what? Go. Stop complaining. Do what? Go. And stop saying, I cannot. You can, you will, you must go. Now therefore go. I will be with thy mouth. That's all I need. That's all you need. That's all we need. I will be with your mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say. Give me a good amen. amen. The reason why the Lord is going to be with us is that he's sending us to the people. And when we get to the people, we will say what the Lord has told us to say. I'm coming back to Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28. And I'm reading there from verse, I'm reading from verse 19 to verse 20. Matthew chapter 28. We're looking at verse 19. And we're looking at uh, verse uh, 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. He is with me always. He is with me always. Say that. He is with me always. Until the end of the world. Amen. Amen. We told you already, our camp commandant already told you that this is uh, a congress for Don. D A W N. Discipling a whole nation. Discipling. D A, that's A, whole, that's W, nation. That's N, that's Don. And that's what we're going to look at now. As we look at verse, 20, uh, verse 19, go ye therefore into all nations, that's the end there, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and teaching them. That's the discipleship thing. You're discipling them. You're discipling them. And it's the whole nation that you're doing that to. If you're coming from this nation, the vision that we ministers have in this nation is to disciple a whole nation that's done and if you're coming from any other country the what you have the project we have the assignment we have the commitment the commission we have is to disciple a whole nation and it's a new dawn dawn means daybreak dawn means light breaking forth dawn means that all the darkness is gone and the light of the gospel is coming Dawn, we say the dawn of civilization, the dawn of evangelization, the dawn of revelation, the dawn of new situation. A dawn, darkness is gone and light has come. And this is what we're about this new year. And the question is, how will the dawn, discipling the whole nation, how will it take place? Number one, D A. W-N, demonstrate a watchful, a watchman's nature. Demonstrate a watchman's nature. That's done. If you're going to see the done, if we're going to see the discipling of this whole nation, you and I, you and him, you and her, we must demonstrate a watchman's nature. Let's look at Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Go out of the Congress when we finish and go and demonstrate a watchman's nature. Number two, develop a witnessing network. Develop a witnessing network. The work of develop of a discipline a whole nation is so much that you alone in isolation, you cannot do it. You need all the witnesses and you need all the soul winners and you need all the believers to join hands and hearts together and go forth and get it done. And so, if we're going to actually disciple a whole nation, you will develop, that's D-A, that's A, witnessing, that's W, network, developing a 
a witnessing network. Let us look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 11 and verse 12. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, and he gives some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Those are the leaders. Those are the ministers. Those are the pastors. Those are the preachers. Those are the people on the go. Apostle and prophet and evangelist and pastor and teacher. Why? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. All the saints, all the children of God, all the believers. You get them together into a network and you develop them. You edify them. You train them. You equip them and then you enlist them and roll them and send them forth. If we're going to disciple this whole nation. And if you're going to disciple the nation that you come from. If you're going to bring them to the Lord. And if they're going to stay and stick with the Lord. You need, number one, to demonstrate a watchman's nature. Number two, to develop a witnessing network. Number three, detest all willful negligence. Detest, hate, abhor, and count as refuse. Detest, disclaim, reject, disclaim all willful negligence willful negligence you know if we're going to disciple a whole nation uh, there will be no toleration for negligence you know we're calling for evangelism and you ought to reach out and i ought to reach out everybody ought to reach out and there are some people that are willfully negligent and then you just say well what if you want to you can join us if you don't want you may still sit down there if you tolerate willful negligence, there's no way you're going to have all the people that ought to get the work done to cooperate with you. You have to detest, you have to disclaim all, all what? Willful negligence. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, I'm looking at chapter 29. Second Chronicles, chapter 29, detest all willful negligence second chronicles 29 and we're reading from verse 10 and verse 11 it says now it is in mine heart to make a covenant with the lord god of israel that his fierce wrath may turn away from us my sons be not now negligent my sons be not now negligent here was the king and was said it's in my heart to commit myself consecrate myself and devote myself to doing the will of god and the will of god is going into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and when the lord says go everyone is involved and you're not going to allow someone to just say no that's not my priority no that's not my assignment i am only in this area of work in the church i don't uh, like evangelism you are not going to accept that because we are going to detest and disclaim all kind of a willful negligence. That's why it says in verse 11, My sons, be not now negligent, for the Lord has chosen you to stand before him, to serve him, and that ye should minister unto him. You will minister unto him. Amen. Number four, discover a waiting neighborhood. Discover a waiting neighborhood. We're talking about Don, D-A-W-N, discover a waiting neighborhood. That means a community. The gospel is not there yet. That means uh, a community. The church is not planted there yet. And we're talking about dawn. And you want to discover. How do you discover? You move around. You look at this. A church there. Is there a church there? Is there a church there? We have a million people in that local government. And then the church is only one little corner. Go around and discover a waiting neighborhood. We're looking at Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. Acts, chapter 16. I'm reading to you there from verse 9. Acts, chapter 16, verse 9. And a vision appeared unto Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. There's a neighborhood here, Paul. You have not discovered us. We're here. There's no gospel here. 
There's no, there's no true gospel here. There's no true church here. And there's no revival here. And you are there. And you're just sitting down. You're wondering, where do you go? Where do you go? Where am I going to go? You try to went, go into uh, Troas and there's no place. You try to go into Bithynia and there's no place. We're here. We are ready. Come. Discover a waiting neighborhood that is done. And then it says in verse 10, And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, shortly gathering that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel unto them. Number one, demonstrate what? A watchman's nature. Number two, what's that? Develop a witnessing network. Get the people together, train them, mobilize them, and send them out to get the work done. Number three, what's that? Detest all willful negligence. Don't touch willful negligence in your church. In the local church, in the state church, in the regional church, or in the headquarters church, any willful, deliberate negligence, don't accept that. Detest a willful, all willful negligence. What's number four? Discover a waiting neighborhood. Number five, disregard all worrisome news. Disregard all worrisome news. You know there are people, they always say, oh, something is going on there. Don't go there. A bad thing is happening there. Don't go there. Something is happening there. Don't go there. You know, in this, in our land, it's like some people, they fear witches and wizards and something like that. I remember some years ago that uh, they, we, I sent um, a particular brother from one stage. I sent him to another place, another state to go and be a region overseer there. He had never been a region overseer in his life, uh, in deeper life. He was just a local pastor there and I saw that the gift of God was upon his life. And then as I, you know, sent him there, he was there and he, he told me later he couldn't preach because he'll come on the pulpit and then fear will grab him. Uh, there is what happened is that when he got to that place, you know, some people just met him on the way and, oh, you are the one here now, the, the one they sent to this place, uh, welcome, we are here. And then he was wondering, what does that mean, we are here, we are here. And then another person, you know, met him and then said, we are here. And then he began to say, what does that mean? And then somebody told him, it means that those powers that will not allow the church to grow there, that they are there. All of a sudden, he became afraid. And then this time, I just wanted to go around. I wasn't preaching. I just, you know, wanted, I felt, I want to go and see all these, my sons and daughters who are here and there. And then I, you know, got to, I don't want to mention the state so that you don't uh, guess where it is. And I called the state over there. I said, come on now. We're going around to all your regions. And he said, eh, Pastor, no publicity. I said, I'm not going to preach. I just want to move around. And then I got to this place and got to this place. And then I got to this particular location. And in that particular location, I just said, how are you? Oh, he said, Pastor, I never experienced so much trouble in my life. I said, what do you mean? He said, I cannot preach. I said, what do you mean? Then he told me, he told me the story. I said, come on now, take me to your church. And then we got to the church and then I didn't, I didn't preach. I didn't even mention, I didn't cast out anything. I just walked around that church building. And then I came to his pulpit and I stood by his pulpit and I put my Bible on his pulpit. I said, praise the Lord. And then I left. I said, I have to go to other places. And then after I left, I'm telling you, he came to that pulpit, he began to preach. And you know, while he was, while he was pre the first message he preached, after I, after I stood on his pulpit, there was somebody there, one of those uh, people, pastor of darkness, fell down completely. And then began to cry, and the ushers, you know, took her and took her out. Another one fell, another one fell. By the time they fell and fell like that, you know, miracles began to happen. You know, maybe I'll just come to your place and just, just stand there. Not preach, not, no crusade, just, just go around, just come and stand on your pulpit. And just walk around. When I walk around like that, all your Jericho walls will fall in Jesus' name. You know, you have, you have to disregard all worrisome news. That is, don't go there. Don't go there. They don't allow the work of God to prosper there. The work of God will prosper in your hand. 
We're looking at Acts of the Apostles. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21. Chapter 21. Disregard all worrisome news. That's done. If we're going to have this done and have a breakthrough and break out, this is what you are, what you are going to do. In uh, Acts chapter 21, I'm reading from verse 13. And then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready. Everybody say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And when he would not be persuaded, we see it saying the will of the Lord be done. What did he do? He disregarded all worrisome news. Number six, double a reaching number. Double a reaching number. They say that this is, you know, the ushers, they do our accounting for us. And they say that this is the reaching number for your church. This year, you're going to double that. We want to get survey from, you know, the various regions. How many churches do you have? We have 96. I say this year, that number, that reaching number, we're going to double that number. And then we we'll say that in that nation or that nation or that nation, uh, this is the number we have done. Means D A W N. It means double a reaching number. That means this year you are looking forward to it. Some of us will just say each quarter we double. Some of us are going to say each uh, half of the year we double. Some of us are going to say for the whole year, our target for this year is that we're going to double a reaching number and that means that house fellowships will double yeah. that means local churches will double yeah. that means that all the churches in the whole state everything will double yeah. headquarters here our churches our districts will double yeah. double a reaching number acts of the apostles acts of the apostles we're looking at chapter 9 verse 31 done this is done Acts of the Apostles chapter 9, we're looking at verse 31. Then at the churches raised throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and they were edified, walking in the fear of the Lord, and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit were multiplied. Multiplication. Everybody say multiplication. multiplication. Now number seven, declare apostolic word nationwide. Declare apostolic words nationwide, all over the nation, the same doctrine, the same word, and the same belief that we have, earnestly contending for the faith was delivered unto the saints. We're not going to hear contrary doctrine, false doctrine, all of us who are here tonight and all of us that will be in this congress from beginning to the end, we're going to take this same apostolic message, take it everywhere, and we're going to declare apostolic word nationally, nationwide. That's what done means. We're looking at Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship. And then it says, and in breaking of bread and in prayers, they declared apostolic words nationwide. We're looking at chapter 5, Acts chapter 5. We're looking at verse 42. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. That's the word that we're going to declare everywhere that we go. And then it also tells us as, uh, as you move on that this same word, look at chapter 8 verse 4. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere. What were they doing? Preaching the word. The same word that they learned in Jerusalem. The same word they learned at the headquarters. The same word that the apostles gave unto them. They declared apostolic words nationwide everywhere they went. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 14. And Philip found, was found at, at Azotus. And passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. He preached in all the cities. He wasn't just uh, hopping and jumping. He preached here consistently, consistently, cons consistently. He preached everywhere. And we're going to do that in Jesus' name. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verse 24. 
But the word of the Lord grew and multiplied. The word of the Lord. Everywhere they went, all the believers, that's what they were doing. They, they were sticking to the same word. The same apostolic word that they're giving them. That is what they all sustained, supported, and preached. Acts of the Apostles chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 4. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees for to keep, which were ordained of the apostles and the elders, which were Jerusalem. You see, they didn't change it. They didn't modify it. They didn't try to doctor it and tailor it and make it suit anybody. The same apostolic word, the same word we're hearing from the pulpit here, it says, look at that verse 4 again, and as they went through the cities, all the cities, all the cities of this nation will preach the word. All the cities of this continent will preach the word. And it says, they delivered them the decrees, that's the doctrine, for to keep. And that were ordained of the, that were ordained of the apostles and of the elders which were Jerusalem. So were the churches established in the faith and increased in number, how? Daily, every day, we're going to increase. That's when we carry out done. We're looking at Acts of the Apostles chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. We're looking at verse 10. Acts chapter 19 verse 10. And this continued by the space of two years. So that all they which, were, which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus. All they, all they, everybody heard the word of the Lord Jesus. As we are here and the Lord has brought us in here to prepare for dawn. That is discipling a whole nation. We're going to take these apostolic words. We're going to take it to everywhere in the nation. Through you, people are going to get converted. And through my sisters there, we are going to get converted. All of us together, none of us will be barren spiritually. None of us will be fruitless spiritually. You'll go and give them this same apostolic word nationally and Different people all over the nation, from the top to the bottom, from the greatest to the lowest, from the educated to the illiterate. Many people, they're going to turn to the Lord this year in Jesus' name because we have the passion and we have the fervency and we have the vision for done. Everybody say done. done. Give me a D. A. 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 W. w. N. N. Done. 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 Discipling a whole nation. Let's rise up, commit ourselves to the point, and to this thing that we're going to do, we're going to disciple this whole nation. In your nation where you come from, nations to Africa, beyond Africa, this is a commitment this year, discipling a whole nation. The Spirit of God is coming upon you. The power of the Lord is coming upon you. The fire will burn through you. You will speak the word forcefully and effectively. And you are going to be part of the instruments of the Lord and tools in the hands of the Lord to disciple your nation for the Lord this year in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. See the vision. See the revelation. And look around you and see that this is what the Lord is saying that you will do. Discipling, discipling, discipling a whole nation. Discipling a whole nation. You will do it. Demonstrating a what a watchman's nature. Demonstrating, demonstrate it. Don't just say I'm a watchman. I'm a witness. I'm a preacher. I'm an evangelist. I'm a soul winner. I'm a worker. Demonstrate. Demonstrate a watchman's nature. And develop a witnessing network. The people around you, the people around you, develop them. The believers, the children of God, the brothers and the sisters, develop a witnessing network. Connect them together. Connect them together. Mobilize them. Motivate them. Encourage them. Equip them. Enlist them. Enroll them. And then send them forth. To go and do the work, you detest and disclaim all willful negligence. Don't allow negligence in the church. Willful, deliberate, stubborn negligence. Don't allow that in the church. Detest, uphold, hate, trample under your feet. 
all willful negligence discover a waiting neighborhood. Those neighborhoods are waiting. Those communities are waiting. Those localities are waiting. Those villages and towns and cities are waiting. Those language areas are waiting. The youth section they are waiting. The children they are watching discover a waiting neighborhood and go and give them the gospel. Disregard all worrisome news, hearsay, gossip, slander, the things that will weaken your mind, weaken your hand, slow you down. Detect. Disregard. Discountenance. All worrisome news. I don't have time for that. I don't have ears for that. This year is a year for dawn. Double the riching number. Double the riching number. Double the riching number. Double the riching number. Number of workers. Double. Number of pastors. Double. Number of preachers, double. Number of fast fellowships, double. Number of church locations, double. Number of countries we're reaching, double the number of countries. And as we go forth, declare apostolic words nationwide. Pray, talk to the Lord.